Okay, in a minute, I am going to have you select a card in the fairest way that I know, okay? Uh, but before we do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my psychic superpower and pull aside the veil and journey into the future and try to figure out what cards you're going to choose, okay? Hey. Fair enough? Fair enough. All right, here I go. Okay, I think I got it. Now, I can't actually remove your card because then you wouldn't be able to select, select it, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm going to take out two cards. And one of these cards is going to be the same value. And one of the cards would be the same suit. So that, that way you know that I got it absolutely right, assuming I get it absolutely right, right? So here's what I want you to do. Take some cards, take a, cut off, uh, I don't know, less than half the cards and shuffle them up. You've done that? Yes. Perfect. Now, deal them face down on the table one at a time. Stop whenever you want. Okay. Now, this is the fairest way I know. If you know a fairer way, let me know. Right here. Right there? Yeah. Did you want to deal with another one or another two? No, it's fine. Do you want to take some back? No. Did you want to stop on this card or that card? Take the one. This, this one right yes. here? Okay, perfect. Now remember, I journeyed into the future and I placed two cards on the table. I said one was going to be the same value mm -hmm. and one was going to be the same suit, right? Now the value card is a queen. And the suit card is a diamond. So if this card, the card you stopped at, is the queen of diamonds, I would say my trip into the future was a success. I don't know, do you feel lucky? So we're looking for the queen of diamonds. Oh. <laughs>